I just got some more um, deletions and uh, replantings or new plantings in. So this is my loquat. Um, when I dug into the soil, it was bone dry. Just, it's awful how dry it is. And considering I have irrigation a few feet to the side of this and uh, I have been watering just like dust. Um, but I really need this tree to succeed to help protect a lot of these other plants. And you see my house, it gets blasted with sun from just after noon and on. And it is so hot. I desperately need trees here. Um, in this area here, I had a maple tree that was taller than the house, but it was growing right into everything. Um, it was not a good position. If they'd put it 20 feet up the hill, it would have been better. And all that blue sky was not blue. There was two big trees um, that would have helped. Right now the sun's over here, but uh, it all kind of track to the left. Um, it, it moves to the right. Once we hit the summer solstice, then it starts to move back. So you can see where it's setting now, <clears throat> probably in a couple weeks it will be on the other side of this tree. So that means this whole area is gonna get it even worse. <laughs> so uh, it is a really hot spot. So this loquat, um, well draining, <clears throat> some would say dry, cause it's on, it's on a reasonable slope and uh, really hot afternoon sun and protected from the east winds. Um, this is on the west side of the house, so it should do really well here. That, that's all I can say. I mean, I hope it, <clears throat> I hope it gets big. I removed some ferns that were crispy, some hostas. I'm gonna be moving that hosta and then I finally decided on my poor rhododendron Sino Grande that that's gonna be moved back in that mess. But uh, here is my trunking Bechernaria, or I believe, it, I think it might be called Mexican Lily. So we'll see how it does. But this side actually had moisture in the ground. Um, I have irrigation up here and I have heavily amended the soils on this side. So it seems to be holding a lot of water, which is actually a good thing. Um, but there is also an underground stream that flows down here. So I think it, uh, it comes kind of comes from the corner. I think it whips around here and just kind of follows the path of least resistance and goes down kind of towards my path, down towards that, um, waterfall. So this side uh, has more moisture once you get down a bit, but there is the trunking Bestrian area. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, should do well here. Um, should be well draining, should get lots of heat. I mean, if the Jubea likes it or loves it, then you gotta figure it's gonna like it, but we'll see. Got a few more things uh, I think I'm gonna try out today. A little bit more work to do. Uh, I'm gonna try and clear the space for my poor, poor rhododendron in the deep, in the deepest shade in my entire yard. I'm gonna throw it back there. There's a really big, I was gonna put a Schaeffler Taiwaniana. I went to the nursery, One Green World today, and I don't know what I was reading. It was my mistake. They have Schaeffler Delavii which is great. I have one, but um, I really wanted a Schaeffler Taiwaniana. Uh, they seem to be quite hard to find these days, but um, I'm going to put the big roto where I was going to put the uh, Schaeffler and uh, it may take a year or so for it to recover, but I think it'll be much happier because this used to be shade and no longer. So anyway, thanks for watching. Just uh, doing some nice heavy watering. Look at this low quad. It's a beaut. Let's hope she does well for us.